And we're ready for action. You talk about a main event, or boy, we got one here today on MCW. The Colorado Kid out of Colorado Springs against Indianapolis' own Flash Flanagan and Billy Joe Travis. You've been on both sides of the fence with both of these wrestlers. Well, you know, Michael, I've known Flash for a long time. And you know what it took to get Flash to see the light? A smashing over the head with Billy Joe's guitar. Now look at him now, one of the top superstars in the country. And for that Colorado kid, let me tell you something about him. He's nothing but a punk. Well, he is the former North American heavyweight champion. Of course, Flash Flanagan at one time holding the Southern heavyweight championship belt. And both of these men, I am very aware, as are the fans, are on their way up the ladder in professional wrestling. And the fact of the matter, both are looking at a title shot upcoming with the heavyweight champion here in MCW, no, uh, none other than Terry Golden. You know, first of all, I'm going to do a little, a little expose about the Colorado kid. You know that claw hole that he's got? Well, he's got a piece Very of effective. Well, you know why? Because he's got a piece of metal in his hand. He could hurt somebody real bad with that. The next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to the referee. I'm gonna talk to anybody. That, I'm gonna bring a metal detector myself, and just to show you that he's got something in that hand. Billy Joe Travis, I got to tell you, before we came on here today, I shook the hand of this young man. He is a very strong young man. He lifts weights. He was doing. Actually, he had a, one of those hand exercisers in the dressing room, working it, working it, working it. There's nothing metal about his hand. It may feel like metal, but the fact of the matter is, this man has a very strong fist, a very strong wrist, and a very strong upper arm, and that is why the power of that claw when he attaches it is so strong. Maybe you think it's metal, nothing metal about it. Michael, he shook hands with you with his left hand. That's why it's in his right hand. All right, now, the referee warning uh, the Colorado kid. I didn't see anything happen, but the referee apparently... Well, I did. He pulled his hair. Well, I, I sort of doubt that, but anyway, this match locking up two battlers, two contenders, if you would, to the crown here in MCW. Music City USA tonight, wrestling at the Fairgrounds Arena. A tremendous card of action. We'll be telling you more about that in just a few minutes. But the fact of the matter is, the Colorado Kid will be in action. This man, Flash Flanagan, would be in action. And I understand even you, Billy Joe Travis, scheduled oh, for a little Billy action. Billy Joe's gonna be here tonight. You know why? And I might even sing two or three songs. I wrote a song back in 1992 that became a hit for Michael Bolton. And I'm just gonna, might sing it tonight. I'm gonna bring my band with me. A little earlier in our program, I was talking about, I, I gave you credit for wheeling a guitar. You said that it took a guitar, if you would, to wake up Flash Flanagan. Look at that drop kick by the Colorado Kid and Flanagan on the floor. And he is a little groggy out there because the Colorado Kid put that one right under his chin. Uh, you had played some chin music with some folks and you've busted some guitars over some people's heads. And I gotta tell you, I have, I have got to, to tell you, and I'm going to say it right here, right now, that I have never seen anything as a as appalling in professional wrestling as you hitting somebody over the head for it with a guitar. I bet you have wasted more money on guitars. I, I would imagine that uh, your credit card bill on the guitars has to be astronomical from the fact second. that you Mike, knocked so many Mike, people Mike, over the head Mike, with. Mike, listen. Guitar company sponsored me. Have you ever heard of Gibson? Yes, I have. They sponsor me. They send all of my guitars. Then a few celebrities send me guitars. I know that you've heard of this guy. Have you ever heard of Eric Crampton? Eric, Eric no, I've, I've Eric heard of Eric Crampton. Clapton. Eric Clapton, maybe? Eric Crampton, you know who it is. I feel wonderful. He sings that, well, you know. I, I know who you're talking about. I think you are a little confused there, but nevertheless, right now, side headlight by the Colorado Kid. Well, the fact of the matter is, Billy Joe Travis, I know for a fact, too, you would like a shot at the MCW Heavyweight Championship. And right now, you're in a bowl of contenders, if you would, with the likes of these two gentlemen in the ring. And look at that drop kick by the Colorado Kid. And again, Flash Flanagan taking refuge to the floor here at the Fairgrounds Arena. That's a smart move by Flash Flanagan. When he gets a drop kick, he's gonna get out of that ring, take a little break, Flash. He knows, Flash is very smart. He's gonna, whoo, he's gonna get back in there and I guarantee you, he's gonna take over on the Colorado Kid and show him what it's about. You just referred to the intelligence level of Flash Flanagan. I've got a question, one thing about Flash Flanagan, in that if one thing he may have learned from Billy Joe Travis is he has become quite unpredictable in and out of the ring. And at some times you can be talking to the man and he'll just stare off into space and you sort of lose him. And I'm wondering, quite frankly, if Flash Flanagan would uh, regain his confidence a little stronger and be 
a little bit uh, better in the ring if he were to get under the tutelage of someone uh, even like a styling Shane Eaton. Maybe he needs to learn something from somebody like him. Why don't you leave that man alone? Styling Shane Eaton is nothing. Let me tell you something. Flash is just a little crazy sometimes. He's liable to just jump off the building off somebody. He'll slam somebody and get on top of the building. That's how crazy Flash, look at him. All right, now he is incensed by what is happening in the ring, and he is taking the fight right to the Colorado Kid. And I got to tell you, these are two fine athletes. These are two of the young superstars that you will hear a lot about in the world of professional wrestling for many years to come right on into the 21st century. Oh, yeah. You know, let me. I'm going to give the devil his due. Colorado Kid, he's wrestled in WCW, Flash Flanagan, he's been in the WWF. They are great wrestlers, but the only great wrestler that's here right now is Bill. Billy Joe Travis. High risk remover, uh, mo uh, maneuver. Whoa, as he grabbed that See, claw. See, he's got that claw. He's got the claw. Wait a minute. Here comes Terry Golden in the ring. Hey, Golden just what nailed. What is going on? He just nailed Colorado Kid with a stick from behind. Wait a second. A referee calling for the bell. Wait a second. He needs some help. Well, Billy Joe Travis says that Colorado Kid needs some help. And he's just left our broadcast pavilion here and he's headed to the ring and Billy Joe Travis is in the ring. Wait a minute. Travis is going after the Colorado Kid. Now it's three on one. Travis Flanagan and Terry Golden working over the Colorado Kid and the Kid worse for wear. Here's Travis. Whoa. Golden with the stick. Here comes help from the dressing room. Whoop B D, JC Ice, Shane Eaton. Pandemonium has broken out here at the Fairgrounds Arena in Nashville, Tennessee. As quickly to the rescue help a Colorado kid. And there's JC Ice, Whoopi D, and uh, Nick Densmore actually in the ring to the aid of the Colorado kid. We're going to tend to him. We'll be back for more, and we'll let you know what's going on as this develops here on MCW.